It's Song Talk Radio. Welcome to Song Talk Radio, the show with songwriters talking to other songwriters about the craft of songwriting. We share tips, tools, and techniques, and together we all become better at writing songs. I'm your host, Neil Modi, and with me, my co-host, Phil Emery. How you doing, Phil? I am doing very well because for once it's not raining and it's sunny, so it's uh, been a bit of a change for me here in St. Mm -hmm. John's, Newfoundland, and uh, when it's nice, it's nice. Nice. Not always nice, so yeah. take it what you need. Yeah. Days, days are getting darker and colder, so soon enough it'll be snowing, won't it? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that to look forward to. Um, for everyone else, please send in your comments, questions, weather reports to at Song Talk Radio on Facebook or Instagram, or feedback at songtalk.ca for the email, and we'll share your thoughts on the show. And please visit songtalk.ca to see the show post for this episode, to find links to resources we mention, and to download lyric and chord sheets to follow along with the songs that we feature. Tonight, we're very happy to welcome back to the show singer songwriter Greg Wired. How you doing, Greg? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Great to see you again on the show. And uh, before we get to Greg's stuff, um, just uh, another small announcement for our Songwriting Challenge 2024, which has been ongoing for a little while now. And uh, just a reminder to our listeners that our Songwriting Challenge this year is to write a original holiday song, uh, whatever holiday you like. And um, uh, we're asking our listeners to send in your songs by November the 18th. Uh, send us in, uh, uh, an MP3 a lyric sheet and a short paragraph or two about your songwriting process behind it. And, uh, you know, we'll read that introduction on the air and play your song um, and when we get around to doing our episodes for the, for the listener songs. And, uh, of course, Phil and I are going to be sharing our songs in the, in the next few weeks. Um, ah! Yes. How's, how's yours coming along, Phil? Ah! <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> it's, um, well, this weekend I hope to get more on top of it, but it's been, uh, it's, it's been slow, mm. but, uh, you know, I'll get back onto it. Cool, cool. Yeah. I've, I've made some how progress in the last, yeah, I made some progress in the last week or two. I've thrown down some stuff on the, on, on, on the recording software and kind of <clears throat> got a structure and, and refining the lyric as I go along and stuff. And it's, it's coming oh, together. Pretty good. It's coming yeah. together. I'm actually hoping to have, you know, a pretty good draft of it done by this weekend. Um, hopefully. Wow. Fingers, okay. Fingers crossed because because this this time next week I'm going to be sharing mine, so I got to get it done. <laughs> One way oh, or the yeah. other. <laughs> and then Phil's will be a couple weeks um, after that. Uh, how about you, Greg? Have you ever done songwriting challenges before? I, I'm I'm scared of them, like like many people, you know, like like deadlines are, are a horrible thing. I I did actually try to write a Christmas song one time when I was when I I was saw that you were doing that. I thought, oh yeah, I did try that one time, and I and I I failed to come up with something that I was happy with by Christmas, oh, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. I had this deadline at the time. This is years ago, but um, I'm, I'm I'm intrigued to try it again now that now that I hear you guys are trying this. I. I Maybe I'll maybe I'll try it too. Just to, yeah, yeah. Give give, give it yeah. a shot. And and for like we've like been saying my... on the podcast, like it doesn't have to be finished. It doesn't have to be something you're even happy with. It's just you know because sometimes the unfinished songs are the ones that generate the most discussion, and that's what we're all about. It's talking about right. the craft and about the process, and and that's no, you're right. Thing. We, so you know. we all do get so precious about perfection, you know. And yeah. and you're right. It's 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 a killer. Yeah. It's a killer of. Uh, Finish, finish and, it and, 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 and that, that if, if if nothing else, that's what the songwriting challenges are great for because they set a hard, rigid deadline. You have to get it done by this date, and come hell or high yeah. water, <laughs> whatever it is, that's, that's what's going at that time. And and you know, and, and we've we've done this with at least I've done this with songwriting challenges that we've done in the past. Is that it's kind of a you, you don't necessarily know this at the time, but it could serve as a springboard. You know, it's like I, I got I got so far with this thing, but I really got a better version of the song in my back pocket, which I'll visit after the challenge is done. It's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking about um, imperfections, I have uh, I, was, I was told to use um, these headphones called Grados, or they're not cheap. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the most exciting, uh, expensive thing I've purchased. Um, but. Um, it's uh, they just clear up all the junk that's in most headphones, and you hear things so clearly. And boy, you really hear all the mistakes in all your favorite records, like bits of out of tune and, and sloppy playing and stuff. 
but she just didn't notice. And but that gives it all the sort of humanity and and energy. So you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, imperfections will be the thing that sticks out, especially now with um, AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, no, I mean, it's just it's good to have anything. If you, even if you don't finish it, it's it's better than not making anything, you know, because you can always go back and look at it later. I've got so many fragments kicking around. I keep going through old hard drives and finding like, oh my god, I forgot about that song, you know, and I get all excited again. So I I do have a backlog of unfinished stuff, you know. So it's always it's always valuable at some point. Yeah. 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 It's it's a good thing. I mean, so I think most songwriters either have a problem starting or a problem finishing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. yeah. If you're successful at both, then you're <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> I, no, I'm guilty of both. Of doing, doing both wrong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always a challenge. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, let's get on to the main, uh, the main event. Um, Greg Wired's new song, Don't Get Involved, is available on all streaming platforms beginning September 13th, 2024. Uh, inspired by tense moments we all face in daily life, like a heated confrontation on the subway or an episode of Road Rage, Don't Get Involved explores the dilemma of staying calm versus reacting. With a backdrop of laid back acoustic guitar, cajon and strings, the track uh, contrast soothing melodies with sharp and insightful lyrics. Fans of Paul McCartney, Neil Finn, and Passenger will love its folk pop feel. Part of a full album set for release in early 2025, this song offers a surprisingly optimistic take on conflict and self-restraint. Structurally, it bucks the trend of traditional pop songwriting in that it has no chorus, instead opting for a repeated line, oh no, don't get involved. So, okay, let's uh, take a listen uh, first to uh, Greg Wire's song, um, Don't Get Involved. Remember, folks, uh, the lyric sheet will be up on the website, songtalk.ca, so check that out and you can follow along. Let's get it, Phil. Words like bullets break the silence Get involved. This one's full on, could be violent. Oh no, don't get involved. Keep your head, son, think about yourself. If you wind up dead, you won't be any help. Well, I heard my mother's voice as I was standing in the train. Trying not to make eye contact Another psycho in the subway Oh no, don't get involved Another running on the runway Oh no, don't get involved in the world So you Some people are like vultures Who prey on other cultures So you pay your bill and you drive away But you didn't get the right of way Now you'll have to deal with road rage It's like we're living in the Stone Age I don't gossip at McCabe's bar Shame to stop. Oh no, don't get involved. Unless, of course, the discourse is online. Then everybody feels the need to chime in. Well, it seems to me when no one knows your name or sees your face, courage seems to spring up where at first there was no trace. They'll say one thing in real life, something else in cyberspace. But do yourself a favor. Oh no, don't get involved in the world. Mm. 
Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Well, thank you, guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> really, really Beatlesque. <laughs> yeah. So the oh, verse yeah. is oh, yeah. a walk down, right? Oh yeah, the walk downs are great. Yeah. So your verse, your basically verse is a is a walk down, and you put your melody on top of that. But it's like um, it's just like a major scale walk down, isn't it? It is. It's uh, it's it's sort of, it's like um, uh, for, for no for no one. It's the, it's it's a Paul McCartney's you know for no one chord sequence. It changes at the end, you know. But it is like that. You're right. It's like B flat F G minor B flat. Did it. The bass line's going down for the whole time. Yeah, like it's a major yeah. scale. It's a it's a great technique so, actually. It's... Yeah, I didn't realize. I, I, I subconsciously somebody said that, that that sounds like a Beatles song, and I said I know why because it's it's the for no one. But at least but in it's, part. It's, but it's a different tune. Yeah, I'm not. It's yeah, a different tune. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's, it's it's open. We, we, it's we, open we all, to, we all, uh, I mean, you borrow from the best, right? Why not? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but that's what it is. It's a scale. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I mean, like they like say, there's no chorus, but there is that there is that refrain of "Oh no, don't get involved," and it's like. It, this structurally, it's really interesting because it starts out, you know, like verse, verse, like you'd expect, right? And then there's another section and, and a different section and a more, more up-tempo section or more, more driving rhythm section, pay your bills and drive away that part. And then it goes back to a verse and then it just sort of transforms into something else. And it's like, it's like you had, it's like you had a little bit of fun with playing around with, with the, with the, with the structure of this. Was there, was there a plan in that or did it just kind of happen? Yeah, it didn't. It like as far as the chorus goes, it just didn't. It the verse is so long. Um, by the time you know, it, it's like I couldn't uh, that part that's now the second or the third section, whatever. You know, I was going to make that a a chorus, and then mm -hmm. it's it's too it's so long to get to that chorus. You know, it's and it's a different it's a different point of view there too because I start off it's it's me you know in the subway watching this guy and then. Um, and then I explain what what I'm doing, and then suddenly I'm I'm talking to somebody else, you know, like now you're in a coffee shop, you're doing this. So I thought it's it's really very different. It's not it's not a chorus, so it needs to be another section, I guess. You know, it's almost like yeah, a it, it feels kind of like a bridge. You know? When when it hits, it feels yeah. like a bridge. Yeah, yeah. I guess it does. It, it sort of sums up a bunch of you know. I was going through a list of you know. I was making a list of all the things that you could think of. Where you think, oh, should I say something? Oh no, I better not. You know, and that kind of thing. So it was, it was just kind of trying to get that across. I want to ask about the. Um, I want to talk about the 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 hook in your verse, which is mm -hmm. really on the last line. The oh no, don't get involved. That is a wonderful twist to the melody. Um, let's talk about that. What is that? Oh. Oh no, don't! It's oh, you that little interval that. Oh yeah. no, don't get involved. Yeah. Da, yeah. Da, da, da. yeah, I like I like that sort of change because it's like a seventh chord going to it and resolving, and I do that seventh. Yeah. Da, the tritone da, 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 is kind uh, of a uh, right. you know, and uh, uh, sticks out right. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's really tasty. Is that a major seven or a minor seven? Well, it's like it's like the third of the chord to the seventh of the chord. Da, yeah. da, da, da. So it sounds it's like a a, tri a tritone, like a yeah, it's really nice. Uh, third, uh, what is that? Diminished fourth. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so thank nice. You, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I I like that. Um, and I'm trying to think. Does Paul, does Paul, Paul McCartney does he do that in the song? I yeah, he does kind of because he goes. He, like he kind of colors around that that thing but i i did a more angular melody you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sorry i don't want to keep comparing that song but it's you know it's 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 it was in my mind i think when i was writing yeah and and you're right i mean they, i mean this kind of reminded me of blackbird in a lot of ways with the acoustic guitar yeah. bit and everything right and and and, you, and you're right in your in your introduction that it is kind of you know, musically is kind of soft, but then when you get into some of the lyrics, you're 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 saying some rather pointed. I mean, is is this a protest song? Do you 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 feel it's a protest song in some ways? Uh, yeah, I, I I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, when it comes to the road rage, yes, it is a pro a protest song because you know I'm so sick of people driving badly. You know, so it was it was a few things that that from you know some of the things weren't necessarily about me. You know, like I mean. I have never been accosted by somebody in a subway, thankfully, you know, but it's like, it is, but it's like, I put a little bit of that, like, you know, your mother gives you advice, you know, if you, if you see any trouble, don't, don't get involved. 
because they, they might hurt you. You might think you're saving somebody, but you know, you, you might get hurt in the process. So that was, you know, I put that little part in there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and then, but, and then yeah, that's always, and that's always been a thing. Like, like, I don't, I don't know if it's a Toronto specific thing or just an urban specific thing that if you see something, you know, elevated should happening should, somewhere should, in well, public. Well, it should be say something. Like, yeah, you should know, say, say something. I, I say, should you should you should you get involved? And usually the answer is no because you're you're afraid of of getting you're afraid of getting involved. You're afraid of getting yeah, hurt, hurt yourself. If you're in an enclosed space where it's dangerous, you know, you might think yeah. like if you're on a platform or something and you can get away, you know, you know maybe it's different. Yeah, yeah. In, in that maybe particular most setting, response is, is to get away. Yeah, because because the, the thing I kind of took out of this was that 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 notion that especially when you get into the cyberspace stuff as well, that, that, that notion that, you know, people say, well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but then there's the counterpoint to that was you're only entitled to your informed opinion. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, and it's like, if everyone's got an opinion, then <laughs> it was a bit of a, and you, and you don't need to prove that you're informed online. You know, you just, yeah. you're, just, you're, yeah. you're anonymous. So you can just say well, anything you want with no repercussion, you know, or, or defending it, you know? So, so there's that too. So it was trying to cover a lot of a lot of just things that that people tend to not get involved with unless they're insulated, you know. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the safety of anonymity. Um, yeah, yeah. We were actually covering like a lot of a lot of things. There's a road rage and and subway incidents running running on the runway. I kind of like the the turn of phrase there. It's kind yeah, of yeah. Those fun. people people getting dragged off the plane because they you know they can't their plane can't take off. You know. That, that, right, right, right. You know, those, those people, yeah. Yeah, was gossiping and and then yeah the online stuff. So was was it really just like you had a list of these things that you wanted to talk about and just sort of one by one? It, it, it came. It's it's like a lot of a lot of ideas. It you know I I, I had the don't get involved. So that kind of led to I've, I've got to come up with something you know to 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 not get involved with you know so then it does it does go to the list making you know I've I've done that a few so times so it started it with that line that don't get involved that yeah is that I sort think of the root I, I think so because I've got an early version of it where I'm talking about uh, we don't need your we don't need your the kind of person around here don't get involved it was something very innocuous at first but I had that just that line so it's like whatever I write I can't I can't bear to change that you know you get a line and you think that's the one I can't change. I'm going to have to work around that and get the song to mean something around that line. So that's that's kind of why it stuck. I couldn't think of anything else that fit quite as nicely. So, mm -hmm. so then it was like a it was like a list thing, you know. Come up with a list. I, I, a bit like my you my song "People Don't Change." I think I I did something mm -hmm. similar where I had "People Don't Change," you know, and then come up with all the ways people don't change, you know. That was just mm. one of my yeah because I remember I remember I think I, it might have been the very first time you came on on our podcast you were talking about getting away from writing love songs because you because you had a long history of just writing love songs yeah it seems, and that, that was it seems you're, you're 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 getting you're getting into stuff that's fairly topical now <laughs> well that was it that was a that was a definite um I think over the pandemic because some of these songs go back you know to the pandemic when I had a lot more time and and I had put out three CDs you know, and a lot of breakup songs and, you know, just the kind of stuff I was going through at the time. And I thought, oh, I need to branch out a bit, you know, and I, th and I thought I want to, I want to get political without being too obvious. And that's how the guns and money thing came about. You know, I thought I'm going to just make up a, make a person and talk about them. So, and then, and again, this, yeah, it's, 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 it's always searching for something other than your personal, you know, grievances or oh woe is me or whatever baggage. you know yeah yeah baggage <laughs> exactly you know and, you know people are interested up to a point you know then you're gonna have something new and it, it is hard you know it is a challenge to constantly think of something original and new as, as a topic in a song you know i think you know and and it's, it's a lot of things is, is that more challenging than writing a sappy love song or a, or a harsh breakup song or something like that so, yeah so I, harder to do i think so like i can't stand to write one of those sappy love songs you know, I wrote a lot of them when I was younger and I don't know I, I don't know if I have it in me to even come up with a story you know that's not true in in that kind of song now it's it just doesn't it doesn't interest me as much you know uh, uh I don't know it's 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 a funny thing like should should I be going for more for that if I'm trying to write something more uh, appealing to the masses you know I don't know you know it's Let's talk about um, let's talk about your bridge and uh, yeah, 
Well, it's kind of a bridge. So what was, um, how did you handle the going into the, you sort of changed the, the melodic center for that. It definitely, there's a bit of a, bit of a jump. Yeah, there. It, it is. Is, it there, is there a key in, change there? There is actually, it starts in B flat and it, and it goes down to G, which is quite a, you know, it's not oh, even wow, a related okay. key, yeah, yeah. It's like G, it's G major. Um, right. No, you're in a coffee shop. Da, da, da. Yeah, and um, I was like, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> Sorry, it's an it's an F. That's right, it's an F. I can't, I don't even know my own song. Yeah, but um, um, yeah, it just it just felt it had to it had to go to a different uh, key center to just have a different point of view, like it like it would have. It would have been dull. I guess a bit. I'm keep referring to McCartney, but if you if you call his bridge, in, in her eyes you see nothing, no sign of love behind the tears. He goes. He goes to a minor, and I think I went to like a a major, a relative major of the minor. He goes to. You know, it just seems it's like a it's like a new headspace kind of place to go. You know. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's 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 a very it's a very nice contrast, and it, and it is fairly smooth. Like it doesn't sound jarring. It sounds natural and organic, and all that rest of that. Like it's very seems appropriate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's different. The the verses are are kind of moody. So, I think a I, th I think a a tendency would be going to like the relative minor or you know the five minor or something else to kind of kind of sort of go into that deeper, but by going to a major, it kind of brightens it in a way that's um, sort of a bit surprising. Yeah, I, I looked, uh, yeah, uh, I, I did want to make it brighter because I, because I was, I wasn't, I didn't want to wallow in um, sorrow. I sort of wanted to say, um, how, how can I put, how can I put that, you know, because it's, it's, it's like all the things that you're getting, uh, and it was more like this, these are the annoying things. The first one was the scary thing. So this is a different category. You're in a shop and you're hearing people make comments about people. And then you, and then you, you pay your bill and then someone's you're drive, you know, you're angry at somebody for road rage. It's not, not so much. Um, so um, I don't know, maybe that's the key change was to sim symbolize that, you know, changing to something yeah. laterally, yeah. Uh, not, not sad, but uh, just moving a different point of view or something yeah 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 because the, the verses maybe in, in contrast are kind of melancholy compared to that because it's, it's, it's much it's, it's about the energy map of the song as well right you're kind of laying down low for all this time and then you want to bump it up and you yeah know, but, but granted granted your your oh no don't get involved hook is so strong that you know if you were if you were you know, going if you if you were inspired by Bob Dylan as opposed to Paul McCartney, you might have stayed in those verses a little bit longer. <laughs> that's interesting, yeah, because that that's kind of a thing, a Bob Dylan ish thing to do, isn't it? Put put a little line in between lines, that kind of thing. So maybe that's yeah, that that's a technique I stole or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I also added instruments too. That, that was the thing. You know, I started off with just the acoustic guitar. I just consciously added more and more as it as it went on to sort of yeah. build build it to this little thing at the end. You know? Yeah, yeah. And a flugelhorn, cool. I think. A flugelhorn, you you caught you caught that. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> my friend, my friend Steve horn. Dite. Yeah, that's that's a and that's a real field flugelhorn. Really? Some of the things I I tried I did because I've got the um you know orchestral sample libraries and everything. And I did the whole thing in fake instruments first. And it just didn't just didn't cut it, especially the horn. So I got my friend Steve Dyke. I just sent him, you know, he just literally played five notes, you know, in his kitchen, recorded it, sent it to me. And it was like, oh, that's perfect. And I put a little bit of reverb on it. And it just <laughs> it just sits in the background. And uh -huh. then it's a it's a real string quartet as well. Um, oh, nice. Wow. Doubled over. And that and you yeah, you can't the only thing I, I liked was the tremolo, the diddle -diddle 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 on the uh, sample library. So I used that. In, in conjunction with the real tremolo, but but I think that gave it a real um, authentic touch to have to have the real instruments on it like that. And it's amazing you can find almost any musician um, who will put their real instrument on your track. You know, sometimes for you know hundred bucks or you know depending on who they are, and yeah. it makes such a huge difference. Like you can have your mm -hmm. scratch with your scratch drums, but you get a real drummer in there, and it just 
makes your song to the next level, you know, when you're getting to that. Yeah. That I was going to say, like, you, you, can't, you can't think, I can't think like a, a trumpet player. You know, I, I, I know what I want to hear, but you can tell somebody who plays the instrument, you, you know, you do how you would do it. And it's, it's their experience. It's, you get the benefit of all their experience. So it's so worth yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah, 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 very true. Cool. So is, 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 is this song kind of indicative of what's on the upcoming album or are there? I, I think it's, it's going to be a very peppered with different styles album and uh, by, by design in a way. Like I, I really wanted to have a little bit of everything, you know, like a, some songs with just synth bass and drum machine, um, some songs with strings, uh, so, you know, some in, an instrumental. So, um, it's just it's just a, a kaleidoscope of what I wanted to do, and I figure when I get ten of them, I'll find a way to, to put them on the track. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say there's any other song, you know, like this on the on the album. Cause like you, you, you would have heard some of them already, you know, because the last four, you know, um, were healing melody, um, gun, guns and money, mm. you know, they're all they're all a little bit different. Okay, and those are all going to so, make their way. Yeah, so are, are you releasing songs as singles and then at, at, at yeah, some point you'll I, put together I, an album as well? I'm just putting everything on on Spotify for now, you know, and I've I've done like five songs now. So I'm, by by early next year, I want to get all like 10, 10 songs finished. I'm buying a new computer next week. Ooh. This is what, this is one of the things. To mix that song, I'm using an, a 2017 MacBook Pro with an Intel processor running Catalina, trying to use uh, um, uh, Logic. Logic Pro. Hmm. And I was having to freeze all the tracks and then take like 10 seconds, bounce it, listen to it. Oh, no, that's, the thing's too loud. Do it again, bounce it like 10 more seconds, just, just a portion. So I could not bounce the whole song. Hmm. So that's the struggle I was going through. My hardware is just not up to the task. So as of, as of a couple of weeks from now, I'm getting a Mac studio and I'm my output nice. is going to be much much faster just because of that so yeah nice anyway. yeah yeah well you know 2017 is a long time ago oh it's yeah and that was a that wasn't a cheap computer either that was I paid six thousand dollars for that back in 2017 and that was yeah that was state-of-the-art but it was the last Intel and again I rant about processors but you know if you, if you have a Mac now it has to be using a um, M1 processor, yeah. I, I, I upgraded my computer a few months ago in June, and I, I was I was running a base system from 2017, even though I had expanded the memory and expanded the hard drive space and sort of that. But the core space with this core CPU and everything was still, you know, seven years old. And I was running the same thing. I run a lot of virtual instruments, and some of those plugins are really, really taxing on the system. And yeah, it was the same sort of thing where I was constantly freezing stuff and. I, I could bounce an entire song down, but it was, yeah, it was. Good. But then well, after I got my, after I got my new computer, holy cow, I can run anything now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's, it's so unmusical. It's so unmusical what we have to deal with. You know, you're trying, you're already trying to write a song and get in the mode, and you're spending all your time with technical problems. So, you know, at least before you had an ADAT or a tape deck, you know, it pretty much would run. You know. Yeah. So, so I want to get to the point where that becomes an invisible problem. You know, again. Yeah. You know, yeah, and for a while, yeah, and then, yeah, and then, then for a while, for a year or so, the new yeah. stuff, and then, yeah, and then eventually the software and the, the, the you'll never, the you'll never catch up, be taxing again, and I'll have to go through the whole process again, but exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. but at a certain point, like, there's you know, there, there's a there's a certain there's a certain threshold by which you know, you're right, like, you can as long as you can record stuff like a tape deck and just mix it and bounce it down, you're probably fine, and you can. You know, you can, yeah. you, you, technically, you should be able to do that on a computer that's 10 years old. Yeah, no, I was t doing two, you know, 100 tracks on this last song. So it was just, it was choke, it was choking, you know. There was 100 tracks on this song? I would say so, because there's, there's, but there on, are on virtual, one? yeah, because there are virtual instruments um, in there as well. Like I kept some of the string, the, the fake strings in the background just to fill it out a bit, but the main strings are, lou are louder. So I had a, I had three different libraries of sounds doing that, and then a bunch of different drum sample libraries. You know, um, every, every everything. Um, well, the drums, yeah, everything's fake, really. <laughs> the pianos are all. Um, I, I played guitar, bass, sang it, but 
but the drums and everything else are, are sample oh, libraries. Virtual, yeah, yeah. But hundreds. Yeah. Uh, the, not, not, not the trumpet, trumpet. Well. Yeah, the trumpet, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google horn, yeah. I don't think I've ever done a, a song that's 100 tracks. I think the most I've ever had is like 35, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm definitely pushing the limits, you know, but oh, I, was, wow. I wanted to get that, that big crescendo at the end, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, 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 that's what it is. And yeah. it works, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever gets the job done, but you're right. I mean, sometimes, yeah, that's the last thing you want is for the technology to put up walls. Yes, I will not express your creativity. Be beaten. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, do, we'll talk about this again next week on Computer Talk Magazine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we, we turned it into a different subject, but it's yeah, relevant for musicians. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> that could go on forever, actually. Yeah, yeah, we, we do go there sometimes. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I'm here in the band. I think that's all the time we have on Song Talk Radio. Special thanks to Greg Wired. Um, of course, where, where can we send our listeners to find out uh, more about you and hear some more of those great songs? Uh, gregwired.com, and I'm on uh, Spotify. Greg Wired, one name, one word, G-R-E-G-W-Y-R-D. Awesome. Thanks again for having me. Yeah, no problem. And we'll send our listeners that way. Uh, we want to hear from you too. So please send your comments on Facebook or Instagram to at Song Talk Radio or send us an email feedback at songtalk.ca. Also be sure to check out our YouTube channel for live performance videos and full episodes and subscribe today to the Song Talk Radio podcast on your favorite podcast provider. You can find links to all the products, books, and web services we mentioned on the show on our resources page on the website. And please join us at our next monthly Song Talk meetup. Whether you're in Toronto for our in-person meetups or anywhere in the world for our online meetups, it's free to join on meetup.com and free to attend the meetup. Bring a song and a lyric sheet and get constructive feedback from other songwriters. Stop by songtalk.ca for the link. You can follow me at neilmodi.com. You can follow Phil. PhilEmery.ca And Greg, what's your favorite social media channel? Where do you post your stuff up? Uh, I think Facebook.com Greg yeah. Wired slash Greg Wired. Cool. Facebooker. Uh, be sure to stop by the website songtalk.ca to browse past shows and find out how you can be a guest. Thanks for tuning in and keep, keep on, on writing. writing. Good night. I love it. Oh, I'm, it I'm a huge, <laughs> I'm a huge um, Neil Finn fan. So, oh yeah, he's uh, oh me too. Uh, oh, he's absolutely. just such a uh, a he's master. master. He's yeah, so yeah, good. yeah. He 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 does everything I I I want to do. You know, like <laughs> I I want to write his words. I want to write his tunes. You know, it's just he's already done them, so I can't do them. But yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, you know, you, you just find somebody that's like. That's that's it. Like he's 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 captured it. He's 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 channeled that. Yeah. Sure. Wasn't sure. didn't he join a split ends when he was seventeen or something? Something like his that. Because his older brother his older brother was yeah. in the band and then he joined. Yeah, he's yeah. the little he's the little brother that joins the band and then writes the hit single. You know, yeah, yeah. has a slap in the face. You know, like um, it gets all the attention uh, you know, after the band's been together for you know several years. So, oh, yes, yeah. but, but but you can't argue with a hit single, right? So what are you going to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially back then. Yeah. Hit single could uh, could make you comfortable for life. I got you. Boy. Well, it's done. Yeah. It's done well for Neil. And I, I think Neil Finn's in an interesting spot because there's, there's a lot of songwriters from that period, you know, that were great, but not necessarily re relevant as today as the, as he is. Like he's he's mm. he's actually kept with. He's taken lots of time off, you know, with, from since Crowded House, and he's remained you know in the spotlight and everybody knows his name you know so it's mm -hmm. it's, a good, yeah. it's a good testament to his, I, his it's, I saw crowded house live back in what was it 2007 2008 or something like that but kind of kind of lost track of them since then yeah <laughs> the best time was like in the uh was when they were all in the 30s i, I guess yeah it was in the 80s i did i did 80s. see them yeah. in ottawa in the 80s and yeah and they had the wit on stage the three of them and still paul hester on the drums 
you know, oh. and they were, and it was such a great show. It's, 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 it's still a good show now, but it's it's doesn't have the same humor yeah. and wit, you know, as the original. I, I have that. I have one live CD of, of Crowded House, and they and they kept in the the one where they screw up the song. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think I think it was like it was Paul Hester who's just saying like the wrong note or something like that in harmony, and, right. and Neil Finn just stops the whole show. He's like, "Oh, that was that was very un- uncharacteristic there, Paul." <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And Paul Hester's like, "Ah, you know, do do so well for like twenty years and make one mistake. That's okay." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sort of thing. But they kept it on the on the CD. I was like, "This is um, yeah, <laughs> that's totally what they would do." Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's it's not all it's not all formal and serious. It's like, yeah. a, and then, yeah. then when they got back into it, and Neil Finn improvised a lyric about how Paul Hester screwed up the sky. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw them um I saw them when they did the first uh, album. Oh wow. Um, and they're on tour. And yeah, they're great. They're just because they all you know they all can all sing like birds and it was uh yeah. Talented guys, talented guys. Oh for sure. Yeah, it was a good it was a good time. But I'm I, you know, you hear his son sit with him now, they sound exactly yeah. like like him. Like exactly <laughs> no like way. him. When they harmonize, it's like he and his son have the same voice and the same talent. And that's that's not always a given, you know. A no. musician doesn't necessarily have tal- talented children, right? But <laughs> in his case, they're they're like the same mold, you know, exactly. Right. So he must have been happy about, about that, you know. <laughs> George Clooney mentioned that he was uh, he wanted to do the um, uh, singing for a brother were for uh, were for Arthur or oh yeah 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 we're, we're, and yeah. Um, of course his like he's Rosemary Clooney I mean his whole family is a, you know huge professional singing icons you know North American mm-hmm. icons so he just assumed he could sing really well so he um, worked on it at home and came in and did the studio and came in from the take and everyone was just kind of not looking at him and going, oh, right. yeah, it, was, uh, it was okay <laughs> and then he heard it and he went well I guess I can't sing <laughs> oh jeez you can you, you you got a lot going for you George you know you can, yeah it's, kind of it, it's okay enough. it's okay not to have that too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's talented enough. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah enough going yeah, on. He, he he can get by on on other talents. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Well, we look forward to your album coming. I hope you're going to release it on uh, Bandcamp. Yeah, I do have a Bandcamp account. It's, it's like one of those things where you have, you know you have so many things in the air and you forget about some of them. And I've mm-hmm. I've neglected Bandcamp. I did, I have I've opened everything at least once, but then going back and remembering to add stuff to them. In fact, I need to add this song to Bandcamp. Yeah. Yeah, because Bandcamp is the one you have, like digital distribution, you go to DistroKid or CD or those other ones and they kind of take care of, take care of everything for you. Right. But but Bandcamp's never included in that. No, because you can actually Bandcamp make, is well, the one you have to go do manually. Yes, but then the payoff is, is higher. If, if well, and then that's what I mean. That's why like I'm, I'm happy yeah. to support, uh, you know, local artists or beyond on, on Bandcamp first before anything else. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, especially Bank Camp Fridays. What's that's that? True. Is that one of your? Is that a? a, mm-hmm. a, 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 a what is Bank Camp Fridays? Bank Camp Fridays. They started it during the pandemic, where one Friday, I think it's the first Friday of every month, uh, Bank Camp uh, gives one hundred percent of the proceeds to the artists. Oh, okay. They, usually, they keep what fifteen percent or whatever it is. Um, but then, yeah, the first Friday, and then and, and they've and they've kept it going. Um, even oh, okay, you know that the so, pandemic is ostensibly so, so, over. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Just, you know. just Google Bank Camp Fridays. You'll find out where the next one is, and you can <clears throat> promote it. That yeah, because I do. I I do get people asking me how to download a file, and I sent them to Seven Digital, and you know, which is which is a place that where they could do it, but I don't get any money for that. Oh, okay. right. Uh-huh, right. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, and Bandcamp is kind of funny. Who, who, who is it, Phil, that we had? I think it was Carmen Toth who was like had to explain to her aunt or whatever how to, how to what to do with Bandcamp because she didn't understand because yeah. it's not oh, a streaming it's not. service. Right. It's you, you don't understand what to do with it, and if you're on your phone, like, does it download to your phone then? So, right. Okay. In fact, I don't know those things. I don't. Yeah, I should check it out. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I, when I hit Bandcamp up on my desktop computer, I download it and then I pop it into my iTunes. <laughs> right. Because it, it does it does take an extra step, right? Because it does take an extra step. So instant, so people will have to want to do, take that extra step to to put it into 
a, fi yeah. a file on a, yeah. on a but device. Of course, the, the advantage, of course, is that it, it once you download it, it's yours. You can you can use it whenever yes. you'd like. And if, you're, if your album, for whatever reason, you forget to renew your subscription with DistroKid, your stuff will disappear from Spotify or, and Apple. Or, and everywhere else. That's true. Or, <laughs> you know, even driving, look, driving in an area where there's no, no service, have you ever had yeah. that happen? And it's like, oh my God, I can't listen to Spotify. I paid yeah. for it and I'm driving through the mountains so I can't listen to it. Like, yeah. it, it, that, that shouldn't be happening in this t in 2024, right? But, but yeah. here, we are, here we are, we used to have CDs that you could play you know, yeah. <laughs> when that happened. Yeah. yeah, well, and then and that's why I'm I'm pretty like I've got most of my music downloaded on my phone, so I plug it into yeah. the car. It doesn't matter where that's, we are. Takes, it takes like, a just, I mean, I'm listening to the, the same yeah. stuff every time, not hearing anything new. But I, you know, but when I do go on Spotify, here's something new when I'm at home. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we will um, send you a link when uh, uh, Thank you know, very much. it, it uh, goes live. Hopefully, it will be next week, and then yeah, yeah let's oh, know what's okay. happening for the next stuff. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff as always. Yeah, awesome awesome thank you. as usual. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Don't All forget right. to send me All your right. file. All right. no, I won't. I've got it right here. I'll do that yeah, right away. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. All right. Cheers. Bye. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah, it's a very good song. He's, he's such a gifted songwriter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I'd seen him before at... Because he, he was a member of um, Classic Albums Live. So I think when I went to go see like like them do like... I, I went oh. to one show of, Beale, of, of Classic Albums Live where they did, they did Rubber Soul, I think, and Revolver. Oh, wow. And I'm pretty skippy he was Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm surprised. He sort of got that kind of that yeah. kind of steel to him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised about that, but yeah. <laughs> And then, and, that, and that was years before we even, yeah, came to the meetup or came to the, or started the yeah. podcast or you know, even heard of him or whatever. He's yeah. a talented lad. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I did hear about him, I think someone else, I'm not sure who it was, shared it, shared one of his videos on Facebook. And it was, it was him doing, he did a, a rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody with just him and an acoustic guitar. And it was Ooh. a step. <laughs> wow, that's, just, that's a challenging song. It's a challenging song, and like no looper pedal, nothing. It was just him and acoustic guitar, <laughs> and it was so good. It was like, holy cow, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's really, really good. Wow. <laughs> All right, All right I'll yeah. send uh, to the uh, stuff on the weekend and send it to yep. you as per normal. All right, I'll upload my song now. I think I'll upload my file now. I think what happened last time is it was in the midst of uploading and I turned off my computer, put my computer to sleep. And, it, oh, okay. and then Friday morning, I was out the door. We were, we were of course. all weekend and then, yeah, whatever. But yeah. All right, I'll shoot it up there right now and make sure it all right. is uploading. All right, okay. have a great weekend, Phil. And uh, yeah, we'll talk on Tuesday. Tuesday. So yeah, yeah. next week is the first, uh, the first of our challenge episodes. Yeah, got to finish oh, yeah. my song this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get on top of that myself. Yeah. All right, man. All right, take care. Bye. Okay, cheers.